Hey guys, this is Yusei D. Wheeler here, and today I am doing two unboxings. It's going to be separated into two videos, though, because I finally got two things in the mail that I ordered off from AmiAmi, uh, like, a couple weeks back, I think, or, like, I think it was last week. Eh, who knows, but yeah. The two items I got were the special trial deck set for, uh, the, for trial deck number three from Vanguard G, which is the... Tokaha Anjo's uh, Neo Nectar deck. Just let me uh, focus that. And in another video, I'll be doing an opening of the special set for uh, Jaime Alcaraz's Aqua Force deck in Vanguard G. So this is Vanguard G trial deck number four. And but uh, for this video, I will open up uh, the special trial deck set for uh, for Tokaha. So let's get right on that. And for those of you wondering, yeah, I meant I was I was able to finish my uh, prediction deck uh, for when I went to the the release at my at my card shop though. For those of you who watched my other video, and uh, yeah, it was pretty good though. I only recorded I got like eight boxes or so, but I only recorded two of them because well, my phone well, there's only so much that my phone can record actually record though. So yeah. But in any case, though, I'm really happy with my deck, though, and I can't wait for GBTO3 and make the Kagero and Gear Chronicle decks. For Kagero, I want to make Overlord the Cross, because those Overlord's my favorite unit. And I actually like using Gear Chronicle. Gear Chronicle's pretty fun. But in any case, though, let us uh, open this up. Okay, got a deck box right here, which I'll show off again in a bit. We got uh, a few promos. We got the uh, sleeves, and uh, we got the trial deck itself, kind of split into two halves, pretty much. And then I'll just put this box aside, and uh, before we get on to the, the trial deck, let me just uh, put this in focus. There we go. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So we got the, the box here, we got Tokuha, we got another like shadow of her, like a close-up of her, kind of like a faded colors and stuff. And uh, this is the G unit that, uh, the G unit that it comes with the trial deck though. I kind of forgot what the, the, the G unit cards do though, but, <coughs> but I think it's, uh, well, I think it's if it like if it hits an opponent's vanguard, you get to choose one of your rear guards and just call out a copy of it, though. So something like that. And I know this one, uh, Maiden of Renunculus Ayesha, I think her name is, is where if you stride over her, though, you get to choose one of your rear guards and just pull out a copy from the deck and stuff. All right, so that's the box. And it looks like we don't get any uh, booster packs like we did for the Trial Decks One and Two. Which is all right because I guess they were really trying to promote like the the stride mechanic though, so they give you just like a free pack from the from the booster. All right, so we got this one. I don't don't know what it does though, but we get it all hollow and stuff too. Yeah, and these are the three ones we get. And now to move on to the the trial deck. Oh, apparently we get another uh, card fight pack. I guess I'll open that up first before I get into the trial deck, because that way I can just save this one for last. Oh, oops. Okay, there's one half. There's the other half. Alright. Oh yeah, you got a fighter's counter, too. See? See? So you get fighter's counter. Other side, card fight, Van card fight Vanguard G. This one, yeah. Something. Some kind of promotional item. A guide. Playbook. Written in Japanese. And... I uh, guess they're promoting some kind of point system. Who knows. And then uh, you got the... The playmat here. It's like a watermelon green color though. Of course. I mean, I guess all the playmats are in the color of, like, their respective trial decks. 
And I guess you don't need to see this part, but on the back there are just kind of advertising Tokoha's Tokoha and Jaime's trial deck. That. Yep. So don't need to don't need to look too much on that. So. Okay. So let's see what the promo we get in this one here. A dip. I think. Uh, uh, let me see. I forget. I could be wrong, but this might be a. This is a royal paladin. I don't know. I forgot what this is. I never really checked up on this one though. But uh, well, correct me if I'm wrong. It's either like a royal paladin. Well, I don't think it's a gold paladin. No. Eh, who cares? Well, in any case, though, I'll probably like uh, put in, like an annotation of what it is though because. Right now, I didn't really take time to look into what this card was, though, so, yeah. Alright. So now we're into the trial deck. Alright. Alright. First, we'll start off with the G-Units. You get two copies of uh, this one, which I think is a... Whenever you hit, whenever you hit an opponent's uh, Vanguard, you get to... Uh, yeah... You get to search for, choose one of your rear guards and and uh, get a copy of that cho selected rear guard to uh, and call out to an open rear guard circle, I believe. And, and then I think it gains two thousand power, I believe. I know I could be wrong, but uh, but it it does stuff that Neo Nectar does. Just kind of like makes copies of your rear guards, though, pretty much. All right. And we get two copies of uh, Maiden of Renun, Kiles uh, Ayesha. Which, like, if you stride over her, you pay the cost to counterblast one, I believe. Let me see. Uh, yeah, counterblast one. And then select one of your guards and uh, get a search, search your deck and get a copy of that rear guard and call out to the rear guard circle. And it gains, like, 2,000 power, I believe. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it does, yeah. If not, though, I'll probably put an annotation about it. Alright. You get uh, four of these standard, uh, whenever this uh, unit attacks, you get Counterblast 1 gain 3,000. You get uh, two of these things. I forgot, I didn't really look up a lot of these cards, though, but... I'll probably just make a deck for them on card fight area just to see how they turn out though. Well, these are obviously 10k vanillas though, and I kind of like the picture of that. Alright. You get the. Uh, this one kind of looks like Knight of Truth Gordon a bit though, but. I think this is a generation break where the 12k attacker generation break unit. So, yeah. You get the. Uh, Two copies of this thing, though, and uh, one of them is hollow, I guess. You get this thing that kind of looks like a fruit, a special interceptor. Alright. Then you get your 8k vanillas, and again, the pictures, the artwork's actually really nice. And you get the Generation Break unit that's a 10k attacker for Grade 1. And I think this one's a 10k booster for Generation Break. And of course now, with the trial decks you get now, you get the two regular perfect cards. And I kid you not, this thing is called 100% Orange. That's <laughs> That's pretty funny. But I like the picture of it. It looks pretty nice. And you get three of these units where if this unit is on the vanguard or rearguard circle, circle, if this unit gets attacked, though, it gains 5,000 power. Kind of an interesting thing, though, but I don't really see 
a lot of people are using that one. All right, starting unit. And of course, you're going to get the four critical triggers in. Oh, wow. It's really nice artwork for this critical. All right. I'm going to get uh, four draw. All right. I'm going to put these together, though. You're going to get four stands, two of them being a vanilla stand trigger, and two, uh, two of them being a different kind of stand trigger, though, but that has a generation break effect, though. I forgot what it does, though, but one of them's hollow, and the art works really nice. And then lastly, you get four heal triggers. Alrighty, well... I was sorry that I had to rush through this one, though, because I just went on to... Uh, I just got these today, and... Yeah, and then I know I'm gonna... My brother's gonna have this one, though, because... Uh, he, he wanted to get this one, but I pre-ordered it, so he's going to pay me like 30 bucks for it, though, so. So that, that's going to be a thing, though. And, uh, yeah, so. That's all for this unboxing for Trial Deck G number 3, which is the Neo Nectar one. And I, uh, oh, whoops, actually hit the thing there. So, yeah, there's the Trial Deck, and, uh, yeah, with the G units. Sleeves, that. I guess I'll just do like a small little recap of that. Get the deck box here. All right. And some random promos. Right. Random assorted promos. Right there. Okay, well. That's it for this video, though. And, uh... And stay tuned for the, un the unboxing of, uh, of the Aqua Force Trial Deck, which is the one for Jaime, which is G Trial Deck number four. And yeah, hope to see you guys later, alright? Take care, and I'll see you guys later.